Tonight, we are just over 12 hours away from a historic eclipse. And yes, we are counting down because finally we are so close. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Eich and glad you're with us on this Sunday. We're going to talk about all of the eye safety and glasses and where you can watch this partial eclipse safely for us anyway here in Central Florida. And NASA is at the forefront, as you'd expect, even planning to send up sounding rockets while the sun is covered to do experiments kind of like SpaceX did tonight, coincidentally, from the Kennedy Space Center. You may have seen that perfect pre-sunset launch. Our new six Space Coast correspondent, James Barrivero, is there for all of the action. Well, before I could shift my attention to the eclipse on Monday, I had a launch to record here Sunday night at Kennedy Space Center. This is where I stand for launches at Pad 39A. Here we have another Falcon 9 rocket launching to space. This mission is called Bandwagon 1, a ride-sharing mission with 11 different spacecrafts representing countries and companies from around the world. Three, two, one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Bandwagon 1 and ADD-425. Go Falcon, go SpaceX. Successful liftoff of Falcon 9 on the Bandwagon 1 mission, carrying 11 customer satellites into orbit today. So a spectacular launch, really felt the rumble tonight. Now I've shifted my tripod just a little bit because the booster lands south in this direction. And there's the landing burn. Now it'll only be a moment before it touches down and we hear the sonic boom. And incredibly, SpaceX is closing in on its 300th booster landing. Now we can talk about tomorrow's eclipse. So like in 2017, I was at the visitor complex with about 6,000 people for that partial eclipse. I remember how much fun families with small children had here. The kids looking at the eclipse, describing it like the moon taking a bite out of the sun. Eclipses have a special power. They move people to feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our universe. Their power is not only to unify us on Earth, but to further science and discovery. And all activities are included with the price of your ticket. You can also pick up a pair of those special glasses while supplies last. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. James, thank you. Now in central Florida, you probably heard we're not going to see a total eclipse, but it it's still going to be a phenomenon. About 65% of the sun is going to be blocked out by the moon, which means at 3 p.m. tomorrow, the maximum eclipse will show a crescent of the sun behind the moon, 